This video went viral on TikTok with over 5 million views shortly after it was posted. But why were these traffic lights installed on the ground in the first place, and how are Korean citizens actually feeling about it? Korea now went out to find out. If we look at the number of traffic accidents in Korea, pedestrian fatalities accounted for around 40% in 2019, which is three times the OECD average. Though the numbers have been on a steady decline, it is still much higher than other developed countries. So there have been various efforts aiming to reduce road traffic fatalities, such as upgrading traffic signals from basic lights to ones with countdown timers and even sound alerts. But with more people walking around glued to their smartphones, also known as the smartphone zombies or smombies, these upgraded traffic lights also had their limits. And of course, wearing earphones didn't help either. So these ground-level LED strips were embedded in the pavements to make sure pedestrians sensed the change in traffic signals even if they didn't look up. I'm out here in central Seoul where the inbound traffic lights have been installed and as you can see when the light is green, the row of LED lights on the ground also light up in green. And when they turn red, these lights will also turn red. These LED lights are linked to a traffic controller and are lit up 24-7 just like a normal pedestrian traffic light. Also, if I accidentally step into the road and cross over the standby line, it sounds an alert warning me to step back. Now, other countries including Germany and Singapore have also been installing these traffic lights on the ground to match the new pedestrian culture. In Korea, it was first introduced in 2018 and now they're being adopted in most cities across the country. And over the years, a study found that compliance rates at pedestrian crosswalks that had these in-ground traffic lights went up to an impressive 90%. 아, 주로 핸드폰 들고 있어 가지고 이제 옆 사람이 움직이면 같이 그냥 자연스럽게 움직이거든요. 근데 바닥 신호등이 있으니까 단순히 저쪽 한 조그만 화면이 아니라 전체적으로 라인이 깔려 있어 가지고 지금처럼 확실히 눈에는 더 들어오는 것 같아요. 스마트폰 지금 다들 쓰고 있는 게 너무 많이 하나니까 그거를 바꿀 수 없는 상황에서 좀 최선의 방법을 만든 게 아닌가라는 생각이 듭니다. 밤에 깜깜했을 때그 불이 번쩍번쩍 하니까 이중 효과. 한에서 좋아요. 앞에 와서 쓰면은 자꾸 물러서 주세요, 물러서 주세요 했잖아요. 그것도 막 목소리가 크게 나오니까 우리 같은 사람도 너무 좋아. Just like she mentioned, in-ground traffic lights weren't necessarily installed because of the smartphone zombies only. Senior citizens aged 65 or older account for more than half the total pedestrian deaths. So the bright traffic lights right below their feet help those who can't see well or have trouble straightening their backs to look up. And it's not hard to imagine how these can help children as well. And to further protect children at crosswalks, where 80% of the deadly accidents reportedly occur, another initiative called the Yellow Carpet was recently introduced in school zones. The blind spots where drivers often didn't notice the children were painted in bright yellow to make it more visible, while motivating children to stay inside the yellow zone at the same time. As much as Korea is trying to create safer roads for everyone, it is also moving towards building a technology-driven smart city. Once you cross the road with in-ground traffic lights, you may also see this futuristic bus stop. Designed to protect passengers from accidents, sunlight, dust, and even viruses, it only opens doors to those with temperatures lower than 37.5 degrees Celsius, but once you enter, it's like your own cozy little shelter. It's fully equipped with air purifiers, hand sanitizers, wireless chargers for your phones, and digital screens to warn when your bus approaches. And the best part, it has air conditioning and heating to keep you cool or warm in any weather. So these were some ways Korea has been trying to improve pedestrian safety and minimize road traffic accidents. Tell us what you think in the comments below and share how your country is working on enhancing road safety for people of all ages. Because in the end, we should do everything to save every life we can.